Morning. Today we mark 230 days since Russian troops illegally invaded Ukraine, having for eight years illegally occupying Crimea and eastern Ukraine, Donbass. Yesterday, as we opened this very conference, just yesterday, Russia launched 84 cruise missiles and 24 exploding drones at Ukraine, targeting 117 sites in over 15 regions, including 29 critical infrastructure sites, 35 private homes, four high-rise buildings, one school, and horrifically killing 19 people, injuring some 110. And these missiles continue this morning as we speak. The challenges for governance during all-out war in Ukraine are immense, from how to organize national security to ma managing massive infrastructure damage, movement and resettlement of some seven million internally displaced people, sustaining an economy through all of this, ensuring food, energy, and other critical supplies as we enter winter, and where Russian troops have occupied land, now liberated by Ukrainian troops, managing the intense trauma of the atrocities, the war crimes that they left behind. How do mayors, the leaders closest to the people, manage through these extraordinary challenges? Well, we're going to show you a film from Western NIS Enterprise Fund to give you a sense of what we're dealing with. Please. Тридцять березня відав історію нашого населеного пункту всієї територіальної громади як день звільнення від російських орків, від російських окупантів нашими збройними силами України, наших населених пунктів. Hi, my name is Oksandr Sinkevich. I am the mayor of Mykolaiv. Before the war, Mykolaiv was a prospective city that for the last five years had only started to develop. For Ukraine and the whole world, it was the city of port. Today, Mykolaiv is a war. I'm sure our victory is near. Ukraine will win because truth is always win lies. по городу, уничтожают людей, живые массивы, инфраструктуру. При этом Путин же называет Чернигов, он неоднократно называл Чернигов, Чернигов колыбель православия. Так он и хочет уничтожить колыбель православия. Маленький Ірпінь утримав сили другої армії світа по кількості. Вся відсотків, як мінімум, критичної інфраструктури знищено. Це дуже високий відсоток, але я впевнений, що всі разом ми дуже швидко все відновимо. Всегда город Харьков гордился своими людьми, своим научным потенциалом, своей архитектурой, парками, скверами, всеми горожанами. Очень много разрушений, 25% жилого фонда разрушено, 100 школ разрушено, детские сады, больницы. Кроме того, очень много инфраструктуры разрушено, начиная от трансформаторных подстанций, котельных, водоводов. Все это ну, приводится восстанавливать. Десять 
дні вони зруйнували все до попіла. Факт, що 90% інфраструктури зруйнувала Російська Федерація, бомбардувала лікарні, бомбардувала бомбосховище, вбивала мирне населення міста Маріуполя. 21 тисяча – це все військовий злочин. Це геноцид українського народу, Російською Федерацією, в нашому місті, в цілому в нашій державі. І так буде, що місто було, є і залишиться українським містом. Гей, люди такі, люди такі, ось у тезаде. extraordinary mayors who unfortunately were forced to return home yesterday a result of the shelling. Mayor Anatoly Fedruk of Bucha in Kyiv region and Mayor Andriy Sadovy of Lviv in western Ukraine. <clears throat> Ladies. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the rest of this session is going to take place in Ukrainian. So if you could please put on your headsets. They should be uh, in front of you. And on the right side, there is an up-down button. It should be on the number four, where you will hear the English translation, the number four. And on the left side, you'll have the volumes. Again, number four for English. Dobro ranko, naši slavni mere. Uh, good morning, our uh, mayors. Uh, uh, our uh, sincere gratitude for your participation, and we hope that you are in security. Uh, uh, Mr. Federal uh, liberation of Bucha from uh, uh, Russian occupation uh, revealed Russian crimes of war for uh, the whole world. And uh, the atrocities which were evident after the spell of Russian occupiers uh, touched upon uh, the people who were uh, uh, negligent to the uh, horrors of war. What uh, kept you alive? Uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and I believe that you will agree with me uh, that uh, uh, we had uh, many hopes for our citizens, for our cities before the 24th uh, of uh, February, but uh, our lives were uh, changed on that day. Uh, third, for 30 days of uh, Russian occupation of my um, city near Kiev, uh, uh, we witness uh, the deaths of hundreds of civilian uh, citizens, and uh, the majority of our civilian infrastructure uh, was destroyed during uh, this period by the occupiers. And we cannot forget and we cannot forgive uh, those atrocities. Sorry, uh, the sound the quality is uh, poor. And we would like our people to enjoy uh, every moment of their lives. And uh, uh, I saw uh, the uh, compassion uh, in this conference uh, during the last two days, uh, and I'm very grateful to you. Uh, but we have to live on. Uh, 
I don't see the mayor of Lviv on the screen. Someone give me a signal. He may actually be under attack right now, so I'm going to um, stick with the mayor. No electricity. The electricity has been taken out in the city of Lviv. So, um, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, mayor Fedorok, would you ask uh, uh, Mr. Fedorok. How do you see the restoration, renovation, or rebuilding of the city of those months? What are your priorities? Uh, yes. Uh, first of all, it's infrastructure and how to raise the spirits of people. Uh, the spirits of people are kept up by the armed forces of Ukraine and uh, the world community who support us in our uh, struggle. Uh, I would like to address our colleagues. Uh, uh, you thought that uh, uh, the we thought that the war was somewhere in the eastern part of Ukraine, in the eastern part of uh, Europe. But I would uh, like to tell you that if uh, the Russian troops invade Ukraine, they would try to expand their influence on other parts of Europe. And I call upon you, uh, my dear colleagues, uh, to support us in our struggle that we have to protect our lives and uh, our freedoms and uh, to uh, be victors. Do we have a uh, mayor already? Good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, are you okay? Uh, mayor Sadova, can you tell us um, uh, Lviv is a, a wonderful uh, city with uh, European, rich European history, and it invited uh, and uh, uh, made uh, homes for many uh, thousands of people who uh, were uh, forced to leave their uh, houses in the uh, war-afflicted areas. Uh, could you tell us about the difficulties uh, which you faced uh, during these difficult times? Uh, thank you for the invitation to be with you and for your attention to Ukraine and to our cities. Uh, Lviv is a unique city because 10 years ago we hosted uh, the UEFA World Cup, and it's a fantastic city. It's, uh, uh, during uh, the uh, war, uh, our uh, 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 city accepted uh, 5 million people of Ukrainians who passed through uh, our city. And uh, during uh, this war, we also accepted 13,000 of wounded uh, people, and we help of all of them. We uh, deal with their rehabilitation. Uh, last year, we had a, a resilience program, uh, still one month before the Russian aggression. We built an infrastructure to accept uh, the temporary uh, people. And yesterday we had an attack on uh, Lviv, and we lost uh, for several hours uh, water and electricity supply. But by the morning we repaired uh, all our infrastructure. And uh, uh, at this moment uh, we have uh, two missile strikes to, uh, to our infrastructure. Our uh, communal services uh, responded to this attack and went uh, to that area. What uh, Russia wants, it wants to destabilize us, to frighten us, but uh, it does not ruin our uh, will and will uh, win and be victorious on each uh, meter of our land. But we need your support. We need more diesel generators. We need stations 
uh, to uh, charge uh, our phones from uh, solar uh, stations. Uh, we need some uh, uh, space to exchange our opinions and ideas. Many mayors come to uh, Lviv uh, to uh, show us their support. And uh, Lviv uh, is uh, located near the Polish border, and uh, we saw uh, your uh, support and will be victorious. We will overcome all the difficulties. You answered our uh, last question. Uh, Mr. Federuk uh, and Mr. Sadawi. You have an opportunity to address hundreds of your colleagues all over the world. What support do you require today to Ukrainian cities, and how can we help you? Uh, Mr. Federal, please. Uh, during these critical uh, circumstances in which our uh, cities and our settlements are, any uh, support, any uh, aid uh, uh, will be helpful. Uh, uh, visits will be uh, significant, but uh, we uh, need uh, the governmental support uh, uh, and uh, will. Uh, overcome all uh, the enemies with your help. Uh, uh, please ad ask uh, your uh, uh, governments to provide Ukraine with a uh, defense system because we protect democracy today. We uh, defend the right of communities to be free. We need uh, 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 vivid communications with you. Uh, please come to Lviv, uh, not through Zoom, uh, but uh, physically come to uh, Lviv. Uh, and uh, uh, at the moment, my purpose is uh, the uh, formation and shaping of the system of rehabilitation of the people who were wounded during this war. And I uh, would like to be grateful to you for your solidarity and for your support. Uh, our uh, profound gratitude to you all, and we wish you all uh, success.